Yeah, okay. Let you me ask like you it. about your private life. <laughs> uh, how do you know that Bill Clinton's gay? Um, he may not be gay, but Al Gore, total fag. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, as, as someone, no, that's I, based on your private life? No, that's a joke. Okay. Um, that's what we call in the writing business a joke. Um, no, I mean, I state a manifestly obvious fact. Someone pointed out on Free Republic, I think a little disgruntled yesterday. Yeah. And, and um, amazing capacity is to state the obvious and make it news. I mean, everyone has always known. Wildly promiscuous heterosexual men have, as I say, a whiff of the bathhouse about them. But, the, but you know, you're on, I was watching you on Deutsch last night, I watched it, because it's all over the blog site, you can't miss it. You yeah. were immortal in that interview, by the way. And you said it because you were sort of pushed to say it. I just wonder if you believe it. This is, it a is joke? standard. It's, a joke. I, 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 it's not a joke. It's not only not a joke, it's not even surprising. If, if feminists were not so in love with Bill Clinton, this is like standard for any feminist with the benefit okay. of something beyond a community college education. This is okay. standard feminist doctrine that wild promiscuity shows a fear, hostility. Well, you're here. Thanks, Ann. You're great. Thank you. You heard it here, Ann Coulter. By the way, she's backed by popular demand. And but it gets this right. That was not a joke. You're watching Hardball on MSNBC. Enjoying the First Amendment at Hardball Plaza with the controversial Ann Coulter. Let's get some questions for Ann in her new book, Godless, The Religion of Liberals. First question. Hi, Ann. Um, I'm just wondering how you can call yourself a Christian or even look at yourself in the mirror in the morning and use words like the one you just used to describe Al Gore. Just curious. Go. <laughs> Is, which biblical command does, does, does joking violate? Um, I think and you're a big I think, Christian on the I guess, think so. I think pure yeah. hatred, spewing hateful rhetoric, violates yeah. a lot of a lot of biblical commands. Yeah, no. Well, I'll try to adopt your charm. <laughs> Good luck. So, uh, just to straighten it out for the record, because people check these things in, your word is taken seriously. The joke or the reference you made about Bill Clinton being a, some kind of raging heterosexual, therefore a homosexual, that logic is not a joke. That's for real. It's it's manifestly obvious okay. and not. But the one about Al Gore is not manifest. But the Gore. Except when you're well, you got to delineate these things. Plunge. Is Al Gore being the guy you said he was? Is that description that was a joke? joke. Okay, Thus good. the audience laughed, okay. except little Miss Smarty Pants here. <laughs> well, thank you, Ann. Thanks thank for you. coming on. And uh, a smart lady. A book's called Godless. Sometimes being smart isn't enough for civil discourse. We'd love to have her back. Up next, North Carolina Senator Elizabeth Dole.